Hey guys, I'm back for another video. I hope everybody's enjoying their summer so far. Uh, my kids are already out of school for the summer. And, wow, it's only been a week. Yesterday was actually my son's birthday. He turned nine. So we spent the day at the park, you know, grilling and playing on the jungle gym. And we had the dog with us. It was nice. Warm out. We're in Texas, so it's already pretty warm out. It's in the 90s. And then today we went to the lake this morning spent a few hours there so just wearing my husband's t-shirt really no need to get all dressed up or anything so as you can tell by the title on the bottom I am doing my summer foundation yeah, routine I really don't wear a lot of foundation in the summer because well it's hot. I have extremely oily skin especially in the summer um, and well, it's just too hot, you know, um, it would be a complete waste of time to completely do my face up just to walk outside in the humidity and have it completely melt off. So I don't, like I said, I just don't really wear a lot. Um, kind of go natural. I have like these insane dark circles all the time. Can't really do much about it. Um, I started using a new product I got in my... I want to say it was my May alert box, I want to say. And it is, I want to say Equidence. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it or not. And it is for, it's a brightening serum and spot corrector. Um, so I started using this. And I also got this product right here. I want to say that this one was in my... February or March alert box and it's DDF is doctor's dermatology dermatology formula I can't really see it too well uh, it's to mo moisturize and hydrate and it's a wrinkle resist plus pore minimizer so I, I use these two um, in the morning and at night like I said the first product that I use is my cream for my spots I don't really take a lot very very little and I just put it on there rub it in really good I put it on my eyes and I don't know if you can see it in there it has the clear and then it has the orangey serum in the middle and I do a little bit for this and I rub that on there I've noticed now that I'm older that I am more aware of what I am putting on my face just on my skin in general um, you know, it's not really something that I really worry too much about when I was in my 20s I'm not really sure how many 20 year old women really worry about their skin you know I think we're all just kind of naive and we think that you know our skin will always be perfect and tight and where it's supposed to be and you know then you hit your 30s and then you hit your late 30s and you realize that you know your skin's starting to sag down into your shoes it's not so cute anymore so I like this I let this dry a little bit it becomes a bit I don't want to say sticky but um, I like to rub it in and let it dry until it reaches that stage that it is okay so the next product that I use this is my favorite it was also in my May's favorite video it's the baby skin. I use a very tiny bit of this. Only because I do have some pretty big pores. So like I said, very tiny bit. And I only use it where I have a pore problem. Right on the nose, right on the forehead. And as you can see, I press it in. I don't rub it in. Because I want to push it into the pores. As you can see. So down here, I try to make sure that gets all pushed in. There we go. And I let that dry for a few minutes. Okay, so the next product that I use is the CoverGirl True Magic. It is the, the um, matte can't really see what it says on the bottom. Uh, I actually covered it up with a magnet so I can put it on my board. 
but as you can see it's almost like a gel like product and it's just for mat mattifying your face so um, I take a little bit of this okay stick a little bit on there and I don't rub this either I also pat this in to my skin this helps me control the oil issue that I have. Sorry about that guys, the camera shut off. I'm still trying to figure this thing out. I bought it on clearance and I'm starting to understand why it was on clearance. It's absolutely horrible. Now, for the days that I am going to wear makeup, um, let me show you the products that I would normally use. I don't know where half my stuff is right now. My daughter comes in here, both my daughters, I should say, come in here all the time and start touching things, and I can't find anything half the time. Okay, so let's start out. I use my Aqua BB, which is the Beauty Balm by Kiss New York, multi-function. I absolutely love this stuff. It takes a very, very little amount. I've got makeup on my hand for some reason. Okay, let's see. Now, when I say small amount, I actually mean small amount. It does not take much at all. And I use my blending brush. This is my e.l.f. brush. I think I paid $3 for this. I'm not really sure. So I take it and I put it in there. And then I just start to pat. Okay, so I just keep patting that in there. And as you can see, I also put it on my eyelids as well, because my eyelids are pretty dark as well. So I kind of, I want to make sure that, you know, they match the rest of my face as much as possible. Okay, so I go around my neck, I go up to my ears, get the hairline. Like I said, I don't wear foundation every day. And usually if I do wear it, it's not for very long. It's maybe five or six hours. You know, I don't use my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color Warm Honey. Okay, let's see. I'll just take a little dot, dot, dot like that. A tiny bit down the nose here and here that is literally it okay. take my blender um, it's a beauty blender I got it off of shop miss a Let's see if I can find another one in here they were a dollar oh no that's my brush cleaner here it is the wonder blender they call them my shop mission shop miss a dot com if you haven't tried out that website, I urge you to definitely try it out. She has amazing beauty products on there. Uh, great website. So I would definitely check that out if I were you. I mean, you can't really beat it, you know, to get all these items for a dollar. Then, now for my setting powder, I use the CoverGirl Professional Loose Powder right here. And this is in the color, does not say, but it's, oh, here it is, translucent honey. There we go. I put it down my nose. Now, if I want my nose to stand out a bit more, I will use the other ones that I have. So any place that I would be oily on the sides of my nose, under my eyes, that is where I would put the setting powder. And I don't go crazy. You know, I would do. Okay, so say I wanted my nose to stick out a bit more than, you know, what I would get just by using that. I would take a little bit of my, my 
my airspun loose powder and this is in translucent extra coverage okay so i would take that and i would put that down my nose you know or like i said if i want things to stand out a little bit more then i would go ahead and put it under my eyes where it was at now this has been on my face probably about five minutes or so now so i'm going to go ahead and take care of it now i'm careful with the under eyes because like you saw before i do have some pretty big dark circles they're pretty dark so let's see go there you go that is my summer foundation routine sounds like someone's opening the bedroom door that is what I use in the summer I don't normally wear it in the summer but if it's something special an appointment that day or a date night with hubby then this is the routine that I would use I uh, hope you guys liked the video, and I will see you in the next video when I do my favorite summer eyeshadow look. See you then.